Hey, um, hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk to you how to improve digestion. You might be wondering why this topic is so important. Um, it is very important. It is the most, the most important issue in our life. You might be wondering why. According to National Institute of Health, they declared that 90% disease coming from the stomach. 90% disease coming from the digestion. If you believe any faith, if you have any faith-based religion like Muslim faith or any other religion, you will see uh, Prophet Muhammad. He said that all disease is going to come from your tummy. You see? And you see now, look at the, all the fatal diseases, diabetes. What does diabetes mean? Diabetes means your pancreas, you see the under the tummy of it, pancreas? Pancreas is not able to process your sugar. You see uh, blood pressure or, or heart disease. Where heart disease coming from? Because heart disease coming from simple, uh, your heart, uh, I don't have heart in here, uh, which I can show you. So heart is not functioning properly because of inflammation, because of it did not get enough vitamin to maintain the heart body, uh, heart uh, vessels, which is called arteries. If you see cancer, simple body cell is not working properly because of too much toxicity coming from the indigested food. You see, any disease is the name of it coming from the indigestion. That means most of the disease coming from how you digesting your food. So, so taking care of your tummy, taking for taking care of your food is extremely the extremely important issue in our life. So let's see um, how you can improve the digestion. First of all, you need to understand that digestion starts from your mouth. And after digest after food digested in the mouth, food comes to esophagus, come into your tummy, and tummy um, digest the food, send to the small intestine to absorb the nutrient and send that to the liver and small intestine um, send the feces to eliminate through the large intestine and that comes back to the back door which is anus. So that's how the digestion is. So in the digestion system it needs to be clean, it needs to be repaired. How can you do that? First of all it's called intermittent fasting. You should be fasting for a certain period. That means that time you don't eat anything and eat the other part of the day. Suppose um, you don't eat at the night, you don't eat the morning, you don't eat until the noon and afternoon you eat and start and eat, uh, eat until 7 p.m. Then again don't eat. So what is happening? You don't, you don't eat actually almost 15, uh, 15, 14 or 16 hours. That time you're sending your body into the body shop to heal, to replace, regenerate, rejuvenate your system. That is called intermittent fasting. But intermittent fasting time in the morning and noon time, you can eat some, you know, some apple, some apple cider vinegar, some black tea, some bone broth, this kind of food you can take. And uh, and do not eat something which have a high calorie. It's kind of, you know, calorie fasting. You don't eat calorie, but other thing you can eat. That's called intermittent fasting. That will re rejuvenate your system as if you are a healthy person. Also, uh, research supporting that intermittent fasting a lot. Government is approving a lot of grants in, in the United States and um, throughout the world, a lot of research going on. Harvard Medical School got uh, the research that it is tremendously helpful, natural Catholic schools is supporting that idea. Also, if you have any faith-based you know, knowledge, every, almost every religion encourages you to fast certain time so you can heal your body. And second thing is uh, eat whole food. To improve digestion, eat a whole food because tummy is natural and body is natural. Body cannot tolerate unnatural food. So something is processed, something is uh, too much you know, uh, fried, something is too much modified, body cannot process it. 
eat whole and maximum raw possible, then body can get the best nutrient out of it. So for instance, you don't eat cookie, pastry, and then cake, and cereal, pasta, noodles. They are the processed. Eat the oatmeal, eat the rice, eat the raw, whole, you know, uh, flour, make it your bread, your own. So you can get whole. And instead of, you know, frying uh, uh, healthy organic meat, you, you bake it, slow in a, cook it in slow heat. You also, for instance, uh, in a bean, you can cook it. So, uh, uh, what else? Like a cheese, you can eat cheese from it. You can eat a lot of food which is not fried. And instead of frying your fish, you can cook slow heat fish, enjoy it. It's gonna be uh, helpful for you to improve digestion. And third thing you do, um, no water. When you take water with the food, your stomach acid get diluted because stomach needs certain amount of acid to digest your food. So pH need to be below three on the for the acid. So if pH go above three, food cannot be digested. Stomach cannot digest the food. What I need to do, you uh, drink water at least 20 minutes before or hour and a half later of your meal. And drink water throughout the day, not only with the meal, because food stay there hour and 40 minutes, then it transferred to the small intestine. So make sure you eat uh, within this hour and 30 or 40 minutes, do not drink anything so that um, your food get enough environment, enough acidic environment and enzyme can do their job digesting the food. But um, again, drink water throughout the day. I see a lot of patients that told me, um, I cannot eat meal without water, Dr. Hop. And what is the solution? Solution is, then I ask, um, how much water did you drink between the meal? They say none. That means you don't drink water throughout the day. When meal comes, you feel to drink. No. Drink water throughout the day. When a meal time comes, don't drink water because that is gonna slow down your digestion. So stop that, drink um, through the day and meal with the meal, not with the water. And third thing you can do, chew thoroughly. Food need to be chewed thoroughly. Food should not be sent to stomach directly. You taking food, chew here minimum 50 times and then send to stomach through the esophagus, the contraction, and at a half digested food from there. Try it. Chew your food 50 times in your mouth. How do you feel? It feels, it feels the real taste of the food. Because um, uh, there's a gland there, they secrete um, enzyme, for instance, starch. Starch, uh, the su supporter amylase, it goes to sugar inside your mouth. Imagine you right away, you swallowed all your food in here. It's not digested. And it come to the, come to the stomach, it gets inflammated, you, you, it will inflammate your stomach. And it cannot be digested completely. Pancreas cannot support to turn into the sugar. Liver cannot put the bile to transport the fat to fatty acid properly. So what happened? Your intestine will suffer. You'll see pain in the, you know, around the novel area and you see stomach pain, it's not a stomach pain. The stomach is right there on the, right, on the left side. Food is not digested, come to, the come to the intestine, that is not absorbing enough nutrient, so um, you feel the pain. So make sure no water with the food um, and chew properly. Chew minimum 50 times so that this food uh, is digested and ready to give you the nutrient. And one more thing you need to do is improve your digestion with a probiotic. Pro what is probiotic? Probiotic is a good bacteria comes to your body grow to, into your tummy and intestine. Also, you need to understand that human body have a hundred trillion bacteria. So 10 times more cell, so your human body have a like 10 trillion body cell. And it's only, only 
bacteria itself is a 10 trillion. So your body has more bacteria than your body cell. So you're kind of more bacteria than what you are. You see how important the bacteria are. They're the one you're taking care of your physiological, chemical, metabolic, metabolic, all the processes. So to maintain the proper homeostasis level, add eat probiotic. That will help you to grow more bacteria in your stomach, in your intestine. You'll feel much better. You'll improve your digestion. You'll feel more energetic. More, you know, no burning sensation. You can improve your digestion. And then medication. To improve your uh, digestion system, you have to um, you have to stop your medication. I'm not against the medication. I grew up with the medication. I went to medical school. I learned what is medication. I learned what is disease. But the problem with me is with the too much medication, we are grossly abusing the medication. Diabetes is not a medication disease. Simple, your pancreas, you see the nice pancreas organ, is not processing the sugar. What do you need the medication for? You just support your pancreas to process the sugar molecule into your energy. Don't take medication. You got a cancer. Cancer doesn't have any medication. Cancer means your cell is got become cancerous. Human body will die off. Every cell gonna die at a certain time. Put the right ingredient, cancerous cell will grow go away. Your body gonna be healthy. So stop the medication. Help your body natural and healthy environment. Your disease will go away. You will be healthy without medication. And if you take medication, it's gonna be hurting every organ. It's, for instance, you have a headache. They're gonna, they're gonna give you painkiller. Painkiller doesn't do anything with a, with a headache. It's because of simple lack of mineral deficiency. So headache will stop your nervous system. It's gonna grow more disease. And it's gonna, painkiller is gonna be hurting you every single organ, you end up become more sick. So stop medication unless you have to, and um, help your body to get out of the disease naturally. One another important thing is improve immune system. Immune system is the one taking care of your body, taking care of your, 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 your system from the disease, from the health problem. So you should do your maximum effort to improve your immune system. How can you do that? First of all, you have to be emotionally stable. If you are mentally stressed, worried, and anxious, you gonna depressing your immune system and you should be sleeping enough. If you don't sleep enough, like minimum eight hours, or if you uh, do not have sleep quality, you have to have quality sleep, minimum eight hours, some people even need more. So you have to have enough sleep to rest and do, to, to rejuvenate your system by sleeping. And that will help your immune system. And exercise, exercise is vital. You can you have to go outside, free, you know, with the fresh air, you know, enjoy the you know beauty of the nature, run, play sports, and and then swimming, whatever you can do, do some exercise that will that will makes your body alkaline, makes you healthy. That's will help you to improve your immune system. And vitamin D, vitamin D and immune system is directly connected. If you have good vitamin D, immune system will go up. If you have uh, if you if you depleting vitamin D immune system will go down and you're going to be welcoming all the disease and it's going to depress your digestion system. So healthy diet also important if you have unhealthy diet mess up your system your body will get um, you will get sick that also will depress your immune system that will depress uh, your digestion system as well and finally you have to sleep enough I said earlier you have to sleep enough. So how do you sleep enough? How do you go, do you have a better sleep quality? How to how to improve your quality of sleeping? First of all, relax by exercise or by a hot bath. And uh, you have to have a sleeping schedule. You have to go to sleep at a certain time, like ten o'clock or eight o'clock or nine o'clock. Every time, every day you go to sleep on time. That will help your body to know that it's sleeping time. So your hormone will be secreted to tell you that you go to sleep, then you will fall asleep. And 
no electronics. Electronics have an effect um, in, your, in, your, in your body when you go to sleep. So take all electronics out of your bedroom so you can sleep quietly without electromagnetic effect. And empty stomach. Go to sleep, empty stomach. As I said, when you go to sleep, you're putting your body in a healing mood, in a, in a putting it in, in a body shop. If you have a food in your stomach, body is going to be busy instead of sleeping. So go to sleep with an empty stomach, then you can sleep well. And uh, another science is called reflexology. So every organ have a um, pressure point on your leg. So for instance, uh, you have a liver problem. So look at my picture, liver have a certain pressure point. So press on the liver point in your, in your feet and that will help you go to sleep quickly. Suppose you have a gallbladder issue, suppose you have a lung issue. So look at my, uh, my image, where is the lung pressure point? Press, put a massage on the pressure point of the lung and you will feel that you fall asleep quickly, you have a quality sleep, uh, you, have a, you never had that before. So that will help you to um, improve your sleep quality. So finally, uh, I'll tell you that to improve your digestion system, you have to maintain these all top seven lists that I gave it to you. Um, hopefully you can sleep better, you can get back your health and healthy and healthy. If you get benefited from my, from my talk, please share with others so more people can get benefited, we can get healthy world, healthy generation, transform the world into upper state where human beings are healthy and happy. Thank you.